guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today we're going to be taking a look at the superheroes in the category under movies, TV shows on here, and some animated movies on here. There's a little bit of anime on there. It's left over, though, since last time on my previous videos, because I have some Marvel, well, mostly Marvel, little bit of DC, because I know a lot of you want to check it out in that as well, because I had to do this for or the, today's brand new video, because we're long overdue which for a video like this that I've never done before or since, that's why. So let's dive right into this today on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. In this brand new video, we're going to take a look at some superheroes in the category I have, because I have some under television series, I have some movies, well, mostly I have, and I have an addition to all the superhero films out there, of what I got as well, because I have a little bit of DC, I got mostly Marvel, a little bit of anime left over since the previous videos as well. So, without any further ado, because we're long overdue for a new video as well, because we're going to be t showcasing some superhero movies uh, category I have as well, because, why not? Because this is something I really needed to check out to do this brand new video as well, because we're overdue for a new video as well, because, well, why not? Because... What can you do? I just wanted to come by for this as well. Yeah, in case if you want to remember, though, as well. Yeah. So, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive into the video here, what we got as well. Because I got some on DVD, but I do have one superhero movie on Blu-ray, which I'm guessing is it's under DC Comics on here as well. And I'll tell you more about the DC films, and there's some like some cartoon animated ones as well. The good ones, which we'll get to in just a moment. So, the first one I'm going to start off with, well, this has technically led me to the superhero category I have right here. And this has been a long time since I've watched this movie, like, literally lots of times. And this is a, pr a good movie, though. And to me, though, this is one of my all-time favorite movies from Pixar. And this is probably one of the first superhero movie with the help from Disney and Pixar as well. And that is The Incredibles. This is the widescreen edition of The Incredibles on DVD. And this is the two-disc collector's edition DVD set I have right here, which has the bumper sticker where it says, includes the all-new animated short Jack-Jack Attack in that one. And also Boundin. That's another Pixar short, also in the bonus materials on this DVD set of The Incredibles on there. I got this a while back at a thrift store back in 2018, because why not? Because, I mean, I think I used to have this DVD, but I lost disc one, unfortunately. But, but when I saw this at a thrift store, and I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll buy it. Why not? Because this has been a long time since I have watched this movie, like, literally lots of times, though. This is... Presented it in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen presentation on this t for en en enhanced for 16x9 an anamorphic widescreen TVs on here. And this is presented it in THX certified, which it also includes the THX optimizer, also as well. And this also has. Disc 2 has lots of bonus materials on here, and this has the filmmaker's audio commentaries on this DVD, though. Yeah, because... And to me, though, this is the one you wanted. But, however, the Blu-ray release of The Incredibles never got the 4K ult, or never got the THX certified. I don't know, I'm not... The 4K 
Ultra, I'm not too sure. The DVD I have, this is the widescreen version. This is the one you wanted. However, there was the Incredibles VHS on here. I don't know if the VHS is, like, rare or out of print or something. I'm, I'm not sure as well. Here's the DVD of the Incredibles. Here's this one as well. This also comes with a particular slip cover like this, which you don't get very often as well. Here's the, di the disc on here. Here's disc one and two of the movie on this as well. And this has some a booklet on here as well. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by for this as well. But you don't find like stuff like these very often, which I remember... Yeah. It's yeah, it's just one as well. And that's and this also has the DVD guide also included inside the DVD release I have on this. And this is the one you want as well. And this has a lot of bonus materials on here as well. Yeah, and here's the characters on there as well of the movie. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by for a movie like The Incredibles, though. Yeah, I just... Uh, to learn over the fact that I'm knowing as well. I'll, I have seen this movie, like, lots of times as well, because... This is presented in THX certified also. Because I haven't had this in my collection for like literally a long time though as well. But overall, it's an excellent movie if you ever want to check this out as well. And finally, I got some Marvel. We're, we're some Make Mine Marvel as well. This one I have right here, I think I got this, this was a former library copy that I got this at a book sale on DVD that I found for only a dollar and the, to me though it's just having my own leaps and bounds of the whole hodgepodge of this Blade the animated series this is part of the uh, superhero anime partners on here however this is animated by the Japanese anime studio Madhouse that worked on Ninja Scroll many other Japanese anime that they worked on as well. Yeah, and here's the disc on there. There's also a Blu-ray release of this as well. You can, It doesn't matter. You can put this in your superhero collection or you can put it in the anime. doesn't matter as well because I have my own little hodgepodge of this as well. Yeah, this has been a long time since I've watched this as well. And finally, I got some of the good stuff right here. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I have right here. <laughs> and these are the ones I got on DVD. And I think I've been done videos like those a while back, which I've now remembered regardlessly, though. I have all entire five seasons of this. It's my favorite Marvel series from the 70s I have right here. The Incredible Hulk, starring Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. I have all five seasons of them on DVD, though, because I had to get all of these as well. Most of them I got locally as well. The other three I got are from Amazon Online, and the fifth one I got was for Christmas, though. Yeah, because I had... Because I've been watching all these episodes from these season sets on DVD, though, because to me, though, The Incredible Hulk is one of my favorite shows on there. I remember watching it on reruns of them on the Sci-Fi channel, but when I, but nowadays I got the DVDs because I just wanted to come by for these as well. Even though I have been done videos like those a while back as well, because I just wanted to come by for this as well, because just to keep you notice the way, despite that, the Incredible Hulk complete series is also available on the DVD as well. And now, the Incredible Hulk TV series 
has now got a Blu-ray release now available on here also because I just wanted to give you the information about this. Just to give a little quick word though, the Incredible Hulk Complete Series has finally now got a Blu-ray release also, if you're wondering as well. And I have a couple of bunch of the Incredible Hulk TV movies I have right here on DVD. And this is the good ones I have right here. I got these two right here. I have I have three the be, the, the three of the Incredible Hulk 80s TV movie saga on here. Like I have The Incredible Hulk Returns, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and The Death of the Incredible Hulk. However, The Incredible Hulk Returns is the one that features Thor in that one, and The Trial of the Incredible Hulk features Daredevil in that one. And this is a Digipack DVD release that I got as well. And this also comes with a booklet on here, and a colored booklet on here. Yeah, because I just wanted to... And there's some of the little information about this on there included. Yeah, it's this one. Just to give you a word on this as well. Because, which you don't find some... If you even have it as well. Sometimes it didn't have it, or if it's lost or missing, or as, as whatever I come by as well. Here's this one as well. And here's the, the DVD disc on here as well. Yeah, there's some images on here from the movie on here. Okay, here's the the D. This is a 2003 Anchor Bay release on DVD. I mean, if you take the discs out, see what they look like. Here is this. Yeah, it's the Incredible Hulk TV movie double feature DVD I have as well. This has never got a Blu-ray release. I don't know why. I mean, if it does, then it would be part of the Incredible Hulk TV movie collection on Blu-ray. I'm hoping Mill Creek could get a hold of this for a Blu-ray release on here, especially for that as well. And I had this for a very long time, because, you know, the death of the Incredible Hulk is particularly the third and final Incredible Hulk TV movie that is part of the Incredible Hulk 80s TV movie saga. This is the only DVD I have. This has never gotten a Blu-ray release on here, unfortunately. However, this is a 2003 DVD release from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Well, now now Disney owns Fox now. 20th Century Fox is now called 20th Century Studios now. Well, what can you do, though? Well, well this is not exactly a movie. This is a TV movie. Yeah, because... You know, these was part of the the first three of the Incredible Hulk TV movies from the late 80s to the early 90s. That when they were aired on NBC on here, when when they were released by New World International, which is a uh, New World Television probably. Yeah, because this has been a long time since I've watched this as well, after I watched all of my season sets of The Incredible Hulk as well. Especially if you ever want to binge watch a series like this as well. And of course, I got another Incredible Hulk TV series DVD set I have right here. I have been done videos like these a while back. I have right here is The Incredible Hulk, the television series Ultimate Collection DVD set on here as well. They're just mainly episodes from seasons 1 through 4 in a fan favorite DVD compilation set on here. There's all six discs on here, which is uh, six volumes on the DVD, though. Yeah, because this is how they released this before Universal Home Entertainment, Universal Studios Home Entertainment has released the Incredible Hulk TV series season sets on there, which is on Blu-ray DVD and now it's on Blu-ray but it's also part of the Incredible Hulk complete series set on Blu-ray for what Universal Studios Home Entertainment has put out as well this also has a this is a digipack set on here even though I have done videos like these a while back 
think this is all has got to me for this. Yeah. Yeah, I have done video. I have, even though I've already done my season sets versus this TV series Ultimate Collection set DVD of The Incredible Hulk a while back, because I have been done videos like those a while back as well. As for what I remember, though, as well, because I just wanted to come by to this accordingly. Whoa, I can put that right here. <laughs> yeah. To me, though, the Incredible Hulk TV series is the definitive Hulk, in my opinion, though. I mean, there was no CGI back then. You just got a Lou Ferrigno, who, you know, when they cast him as the role as the Hulk in that one, because they want him painted green and the, with the contact lenses and the and the mat and the teeth as well, especially for when he plays the role as the Hulk. And he had like a dyed yak haired wig running in slow motion, also, because there was no CGI available at the time, apparently, though. Even though, even though I've already done review on the Incredible Hulk pilot, as well as Death in the Family review, I did also, and I had to do a revisit review on the Incredible Hulk pilot also in honor of its anniversary and also the same goes with my I believe it was probably episode reviews like I reviewed um, the, the two part episode the first and Prometheus which are those are the episodes from season four because I think I've only reviewed those episodes as well but I haven't reviewed the, ep the two-part episode, Mystery Man, yet, but I will soon, as soon as I rewatch it on the television series Ultimate Collection set as well. And I haven't reviewed the Married episode yet, but I will rewatch it soon. And also, there was also a another Incredible Hulk TV series DVD out also, which is the, the pilot mo on the flipper disc on here, which it has the pilot mo movie on there. And on the flipper disc, it has the Married episode instead of Death in the Family. But I think Death in the Family only appears in the Incredible Hulk television series Ultimate Collection set. However, the Married episode is part of the flipper disc, along with the Incredible Hulk pilot. Just to give you how I wanted to, from what I come by to learn for this as well. And we're on to the Marvel movies I have right here. I have a couple of the Sam Raimi ones I trilogy on here, and this is the one that I got on DVD as well, and that is Spider-Man. This is the first Spider-Man movie directed by Sam Raimi, who worked on the Evil Dead movies on here, because I have got this a while back as well. You know, this has been a long time since I've watched this movie, though, and I think I did a movie review on this as well. And this also comes with a booklet as well. There's only 28 chapters on here. Yeah, it's this one. However, there is also this is also. However, the version I have is the four x three standard full frame version. There is also the sixteen x nine anamorphic widescreen version on this DVD, though. However, there's a lot of special features on the on disc one and disc two. However, this DVD also has the director's commentary on here on this DVD, and this has the special effects commentary on this also included. However, this DVD is pretty good for the commentary because if you ever want to watch a movie and you have to listen to the commentary on this DVD, though. I probably pick up Spider-Man 2 at one point because this is another one I don't have, but I will plan to get Spider-Man 2 on DVD soon, so I'm guessing that we should, this should complete the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy on there as well. And another Spider-Man movie I have right here on DVD, and this is the two-disc special edition DVD I have right here, and this one I got as well. Spider-Man 3. This is the, the the third of the Sam Raimi entry, Spider-Man entry franchise on here as well. However, this DVD has some of the extras on here, and there's a lot, some three stunt featurettes on this DVD. However, this has some photo galleries on here, and this has the filmmaker and cast commentaries on this DVD, though. You know, which I've shown you before in my previous video, which I have a little thing that I 
come by to this as well. And we have a couple by Marvel Cinematic Universe movies I have right here on DVD. And these are the two I have right here thus far. The first one here I got on DVD. And this is the first movie I got on DVD. And this is the first in the Marvel Cinematic Universe entry since 2008 that I have right here on DVD. Iron Man. This movie stars... Robert Downey Jr., Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, and Gwyneth Paltrow. If I pronounce whatever it's a hard name, if you ever want to pronounce it, though. However, this DVD has some special features, such as the deleted and extended scenes, also on this DVD. However, this movie is rated PG-13, just like most of them, like. The Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogies are also rated PG-13 as well. This is the first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie that has a PG-13 rating on this one as well. And this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen format on this DVD, though. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by for a movie like Iron Man, in case you want to know for this. And, and it's also released by Paramount, also. And another... Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, and some of them will have mixed feelings on this, but some of them may love it, some may say it's it's okay, or it's all, or whatever that I have right here on DVD, and, and this is, this is the one that I have on DVD that I have yet to rewatch, The Incredible Hulk, starring Edward Norton, Liv Tyler, Tim Roth, and William Hurt in this movie. And this is presented in 4x3 full-frame format version on this DVD. However, there is also the 16x9 anamorphic widescreen version on this DVD, though. And it's also available in the Steelbook Edition on Blu-ray as well, uh, as well as the standard Blu-ray release with the green Blu-ray case on there as well. As for what I can come for this accordingly, because I just wanted to know for the fact as well... For what I come by for this as well. Yeah. However, this has the extras on here. Oh, it says, oh, it's, it's got a preview for this on there. The smash hit TV series, The Incredible Hulk, seasons one through five, now on DVD. Well, even though I've already, I've shown you, even though I have all five of them earlier that I've shown you before in this video earlier, yeah, this is a preview ad for this. Yeah, there... There's some adverts on here as well. In case you're wondering as well. And, yeah... Oh! This has the... Oh, this is a nice one I found right here. Get the most uh, out of your high-definition TV home theater with the Blu-ray high-def. Oh, nice. It's, it's for those who ever has been collecting, if you're a Blu-ray collector as well, because that's how it got me introduced to Blu-ray as well. Because, you know, Blu-ray's got more better quality than VHS, because despite that Blu-ray are, are pretty much presented it in 1080p high definition quality as well. That's all I have for the Marvel I have right here, and finally I have a couple of some DC movies on there. This one I have right here on DVD, and this one I think I found it on at a library. I thought it was for free, though. And I don't know why I found this DVD, though, because I haven't... It's one of those movies I have still have yet to watch yet. From And this is directed by Christopher Nolan. Batman Begins. This is a burned onto DVD disc that somebody made instead of giving the actual copy. Pretty soon I will pick up the actual copy of Batman Begins on Blu-ray at one point. I haven't seen this movie, but I will rewatch it at this point. And at last, I have another one that I got on the DVD and Blu-ray combo pack on here. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. This is the animated Batman movie on here as well. And this is also rated PG-13. Yeah, even this is part of the DCA AEU universe on there. You know, it's for what? for what 
how it's presented, and it's a lot very true for to the your comic book f f feel in that one as well. However, this also comes in a slip cover like this as well, which you don't find very often though. This is only a dollar when I found this at a library book sale for a, only one dollar as well. Oh, and this also has the digital code on here. Yeah, it's the ultraviolet code on here as well. Although, I have watched this on here, and I s still have yet to rewatch it once I get part one on this as well. I won't for the most part. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by for this as well. This is only like one dollar when I showed you this on my previous video where I did my DVD and Blu-ray haul video I did a while back. However, there is a lot of DC animated movies on here that I still have yet to check out, though, as well. Especially, mostly the animated movies from DC, though. However, there is the complete series set I that is the big one of the DC on there. For example, like, uh, the original 60s Batman TV series, the the, the live-action one with Adam West, and the original which I don't have, but I will get at one point. And there's also some DC animated series on here, like St Static Shock. Yeah, I think I remember watching Static Shock when it was on uh, Cartoon Network back in the 2005, which I think I remember. I think I remember seeing Static Shock on Cartoon Network though, as well. So, and there's and also another one that is the big one of all, uh, the original Teen Titans. Because I'm guessing if I could. Find a, I'll probably pick it up on the complete series set on Blu-ray on here, and the movie Trouble in Tokyo. And there's also the, in addition to that, there is the other DC animated movies like uh, Justice League versus Teen Titans and Teen Titans Judas Contract. Those are the big ones that are part of the DC on there as well. So that's gonna be it for. For today's video for or today you guys be sure to click the, the like button be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel feel free if you like as well let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below let me know if you like as well and also be sure to check out my anime planet or analyst at your leisure at this point because I've been getting in a letterbox that's why and that's all I have what I got for today this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it hope you enjoy it Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon for more videos that I got unplanned for what we have for what's in store. Ta-ta for now for today's video. Take care.